Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To Use. In this video, I'll be showing you how to transfer Google Photos to external hard drive. Before we start, hurry up and check out the install for just under this video. Let's just get started. So if you want to transfer your Google Photos here to your external drive here for safekeeping, well, there is a way for you to do this. Now, the first way here is going to be the direct way of downloading your photos. Now, in this case, uh, what you need to do is you want to go to photos.google.com, log in into your account, and you first need to click on the first image that you may want to download, so we have this one, and you want to press and hold on the shift key on your keyboard. Now, while holding that, you want to go ahead and just select the last photo that you want to basically back up, so for example, this one, and what you could just do is you just need to click on the three dotted option here at the top right and just choose the download option. Now, once you've cho chosen that, this will start the download process. It might take a while, but usually it should start the download and you should now have a zip file of your photos. So at example here, let's go ahead and op open this in a new folder. Go ahead and open it up. And as you can see, this is our images. So yeah, so this is the first method of backing up your image from Google Photos and transferring them into your external hard drive. Now, what's the other way for you to download your photos? So this one is not the direct way. It involves you requesting support from Google, but you do this yourself as well. But how do we do this? So what you need to do is you want to go ahead and click on your profile at the top right here. Let's go and choose manage your Google account. Now from here, we want to go to the left side here, go to data and privacy. And from here, you want to go and scroll down a bit and you want to look for the option for download. So in this case, we have download or delete your data. Let's go and choose download your data. Now, what we need to do is, is we need to fill up the Google takeout here. So this involves you downloading all documents or all information about your account but in our case we only specify or we want to only download our photos so in this case you want to go ahead and click on deselect all and from here you want to look for options or an option here that says photos so it might take a while for you to find it so go and just scroll down a bit here and just look for it so i have google photos here go and select that now from here you could go ahead and uh view a few things like all photo albums will be included so if you want to exclude any uh content or photos here for albums we also have multiple formats here so if you want to change that let's go and click on ok but we are good so let's go ahead and basically go to the very bottom here and go to the next step so let's go and click on next step now from here it's going to say how do we would like to get our file here so you could go and just choose a transfer to so you could either download this via your email or via your drive or via your Dropbox, OneDrive or Box. So it depends on what you want here. So if you want to receive this via email uh, link in your email, go ahead and choose that. You go and choose how often it's going to occur. So in this case, if you only want to do this one time, go and choose export once. But if you want to ha let it happen every two months for one year, you can go ahead and do that. And also specify what file type here. I would highly recommend you to just use the .zip here. It's just a lot easier one to open. But you could also use the .dgc if you want. And if your file is bigger than 2 gigabyte, uh, it's going to divide your downloads into 2 gigabytes. So you need to extract, make sure to download them first before extracting them so that now uh, you can fully get the files. Because again, if the file, the file is going to be too big, uh, 2 gigabyte is the max that they could handle here. But once you're done, you can go and click on create export here. It's going to start the export process. It might take a while for them to export, especially if you have a lot of images. But to be speaking, you should be able to see the link for downloading your photos here. And you should be good. And that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button. And watch our next video.